Okay, fam, what's going on? I found a farm that is actually fun to do. No outposts required. And it allows you to explore and have fun at the same time while doing it. Because of course you guys have seen these popular videos on YouTube that talk about gaining all this XP, 20,000 per minute, whatever the number is crazy. But for me, that's not really as desirable because it's like, what's the point? You know, I think the Starfield developers made this game with the intention that you explore different planets, find alien species, and you know, level up naturally, find loot through RNG. I mean, I made a video a couple days ago where I was continuously farming this one of our own enemy to get a certain weapon. And I ended up getting the pain blade, but it took like two hours and I was just sitting there farming him over and over again. It was so redundant. It actually made me feel like I didn't really want to play the game. Like, dang, this is how it's gonna be, right? Instead of how I felt when the game first came out. So the purpose of this video is to show you a farm that I do that is actually rewarding and fun. And I'm not hating on that guy who made that video. It was a, it was on a planet called Pyrus 8. Specifically, you have to get certain materials. You have to level up certain skills that you might not want to level up. And with this farm, there's no outposts required. I mean, I don't even have everything that I need to do it yet because I'm just pretty much having fun and exploring. But this farm is still very rewarding. And even on Pyrus 8, the YouTuber, I can't remember his name, he said that this this alien gives the most xp out of any alien and through me exploring this other planet called fermi 3 that's not true there's actually a freaking cockroach man so this is so this is how a cockroach will look when it's evolved this is terrifying but this is actually called a cockroach and this cockroach gives you more xp than that spider enemy or that spider spider alien on pyrus and this is what happens when you go and explore the different planets so this is the farm that i'm talking about right and you know this kind of brings back the fantasy of the way that this game is intended to be played i made a series called alien hunter and i only have one episode out and a lot of you guys really liked it it's like a narration type vibe where i talk about my adventures on certain planets and discovering different species of aliens it's pretty cool i'll leave a link in the description if you want to check that out but i'm working on episode two right now and i just think that's so fun man i'll get into outpost development later on but let me get into this farm that i'm talking about because you get insane xp gains while having fun and the way that the game is made with any planet with any alien the way that it's made is random generation and it's procedurally generated environments which means that whenever you land on a planet the outposts, the abandoned mines, whatever buildings or structures, they're going to be randomly generated every time you land. So there's 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 going to be different ones as you explore these planets. So you can go to, to one planet multiple times and discover different enemies like Varun one time or you'll discover spacers another time. And this is a good way to mix up the loot because like when you farm animals and aliens they don't give you any loot they just give you whatever's in their anatomy which nine times out of ten you don't need but the way doing this farm allows you to go explore different different buildings which in turn will give you weapons that you're looking for so it mixes things up and like i said the way that the way that it works is that you don't have to make these animal houses so that you can domesticate these animals and I didn't even want I didn't even want to spec into any of those skills quite yet. So that's what I'm saying, man. Like you don't have to do all of that. But because it works the same way, essentially, right? All the aliens respawn no matter what. All you're doing when you make the outposts is creating an area so they can't escape and you're sleeping so that you can get more to respawn after a while. So in order to change it up and circumvent that strategy, I went to Fermi 3. It's a little further than Pyras 8 slash a and every it's like what five planets that have different structures on it that means this place is abundant with human enemies and aliens but fermi 3 specifically i just randomly dropped there and it's the only place that i went has these these mutated cockroaches and they give more xp the most xp than i've ever seen they're temperamental and the thing is is that when you farm these as you're running around through the planet they respawn over time so you could do circles around the planet running and in the midst of that you find different buildings which means you take a break from just shooting these aliens and you go fight a group of spacers or fight some varun get some loot along the way you know what i'm saying and then you go back to farming so i think this is a lot more healthy and a lot more fun than just sitting there redundantly shooting these aliens one by one you know what i'm saying 
when I saw that video on YouTube, I was actually like, yeah, let me go ahead and do that. Let me scan this whole environment. Let me explore this whole place and try to find a planet where I can domesticate these animals. And I was like, no, nah, I don't feel like doing that. So this farm is for those who want to have fun and and still keep the fantasy in the game. You know what I mean? I got a lot of flack from that video that I made about when I kept farming that Varun soldier or that Varun enemy where they're like, okay, what's the point of playing a game if you're just going to do this? And I could completely relate to that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not really going to go back to that. I mean, <laughs> maybe I would if this farm wasn't as lucrative as it is. I'm literally leveling up every couple of minutes. It's crazy the amount of XP you can get just alien hunting. You know what I'm saying? And you get loot along the way. So I think this is better overall for the quality life of the game, meaning that you will enjoy it more as you play it, as opposed to just getting everything in the game right away to fulfill that satisfaction that some of you may have. I don't really have a completionist mindset. I don't really care to get all the skills in the game right away because I want this game to last. I just want to be able to enjoy it and play it as it's intended to be played. And plus, I don't know how Bethesda does things as far as patching stuff, but you know, they might patch the farm like that, or they might not, who knows. Either way, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I just thought I'd share this method with you because it's really fun and it's really lucrative at the same time, and you can't go wrong. So for me, I think it's the best farm out there. Let me know what you think of it down below. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you about another planet. So the two planets that I'm talking about is Fermi 3, which is booming with areas that you can go all in the solar system. Then you have Celebre or Calibre, whatever, however that's pronounced. This has these huge, <laughs> I don't know, I forgot what they're called, but they're these huge aliens that just run up to you. They're herbivores, they're not really that aggressive, but if you fight them, they'll attack you in packs. They're just all over the planet along with these other, these other aliens. So Calibre, Fermi 3, you can go to Pyres also, which is a little more barren. But if you explore these planets further down the line, you're going to start to see a lot more species and a lot more different variety of things that you can do. So let me know what you think about this down below. I appreciate you stopping by. If you made it to the end, you're a goat. And if this helped you out in any way, like the video. Also, subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I'll catch you in the next one, fam. Be right out.